A 40-year-old man has appeared in court charged with publishing written material online to stir up racial hatred. Um, <coughs> Wayne O'Rourke of Lincoln was arrested on Sunday afternoon. He made posts from a social media account. And this is the chilling bit, which is why I'm saying watch out, Nick. Nottingham Magistrates Court heard the posts were alleged to contain anti-Muslim and anti-establishment rhetoric. Mm. So if you actually think about that last phrase, they're now arresting people and taking them to court for rhetoric, of course, as we know, is simply a false uh, speech. So when you're doing one of your little statements, or yeah. I'm doing one of mine, that, that's rhetoric. But he's been arrested for anti-establishment rhetoric. So that's where we've got to now, Nick. We have. I would look into this a bit more carefully. Um, the judge comments were what he was saying was anti-Muslim and anti-establishment. Establishment. Doesn't mean he was arrested for the anti-establishment bit. He would have been arrested for the anti-Muslim bit that comes under hate crime. Even And they would have talked about his anti-establishment stuff being caught. That's why he's mentioned it. So, yeah, but <clears> even <throat> but if we if we just skip away from the anti-establishment bit and talk about the anti-Muslim mm -hmm. bit, you and I have talked about Muslims yep. in, in this here. We've talked about how there's disproportionate crime levels relating yep. to them. There's disproportionate other things relating yep. to them in terms of crime. We should these are factual yep. things. Is that anti-Muslim rhetoric? It can be if a Muslim finds it finds it hateful. So if a, if a Muslim is watching this channel. And I say there's uh, there's a higher proportion of Pakistani Muslim children are, have disabilities and <clears throat> need more requirement on the national health, which is a matter of fact. Yeah. <clears throat> um, because of inter because of inter yeah because of, yeah because yeah. they tend to they have the highest proportion of first cousin marriages yeah. in, in in that. So, is that anti-Muslim rhetoric? If someone perceives it to be yes, yeah, because. This is all about perception. Yeah. So hate crime is all about perception. If I perceive it to be hateful, by definition, it's hateful. Yeah. And if we talk <clears> about <throat> the fact that Muslims, um, the nature of their religion and their, of their ideology is, is to, is kind of pervades levels of misogyny. There's levels of violence against infidels encouraging their religion which again are realities of, of mm. the, the ideology of, of Islam, is that anti-Muslim rhetoric as well? If a Muslim, or if anybody finds it hateful, then yes it is. So I could be arrested for saying that? You could have a charge put against you for that, whether or not they'd arrest you, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Cause but, but this is a situation we're in now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is a very, this is, <clears throat> and I'm actually finding myself, which is interesting, as I'm saying these things to you, being quite guarded in mm. what I'm actually saying, which again, so we've been captured by, or I've been captured by this. Maybe you haven't been captured by it, but we've been. I'm actually now being careful about what I'm saying because I'm seeing things like this, and that's exactly what Starmer's plan was, because it's very easy to be cavalier when there's no consequences, but once we know there's real life consequences common sense kicks in and we start editing and censoring what we would normally say and we've been doing this for decades you know to a certain extent we've always done it everyone always edits and censors we don't ever say exactly word for word what we'd like to say to anybody otherwise i'd be divorced um so we're always censoring what we say um, and we're depending on outside influences and Starmer now is the outside influence. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.